Over here in the upper right, we have... I'm just messing up every uh, intro. The every. kids pop. Yeah. There he is. Did you see his tricep muscle? Oh, my God. Now down here in the bottom left, second place at NASL. The Kratos Protoss. Odessa MC. She has like red bunny rabbit ears. Yeah, she does. She does. There he is. Two-time GSL champion. Nothing wrong with hybrid human rabbits. <laughs> I'm the Banjoa. Well. Whoop, whoop. There's MC. He buys his clothes at the Gap. <laughs> you know these uh, that rare stalker strategy you were talking about. Too, you you from probably the never heard nerd. of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know why that hipster nerd never gets zealot charge? Why? Because he only uses fixed speed zealots. Ah, you're funny. <laughs> you're way funny. Hey, you wanna know why he? <laughs> hey, you wanna know why he doesn't uh, upgrade Observer Sight? Why? Because <laughs> he only wears lensless glasses. <laughs> it was sputtering in my head. Yeah. I started to get my nerd chuckle. I was like, yeah, yeah. couldn't <laughs> spit it out. Well, of course, we have the same builds as of right this moment, and until we do get, you know, soccer out, probably will remain that way. Yeah, I'm really interested to see if Huck goes for the same build this game. Look at that. Huck is abused in that close patch. Huck knows the weaknesses of uh, someone that always tells two probes, go to all the close patches, go harass that patch. Oh, that's a good observation, yeah. yeah. Hitting that close patch, I didn't, I didn't think of that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal that, actually. Yep. In case you guys are confused you by what, what he means, yeah. you, 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 it's pretty easy to sync up two probes on one patch. Yeah, in fact, OGS and Team Liquid are the original teams to start doing that. Yeah. And uh, Huck can easily go around and abuse that. Anywhere he sees two probes, you go there and you make one go away. Yeah. And it's really annoying for a player that puts so much time and effort to keep those probes mining efficiently. So, uh, Huck, I think he might do the same build as last game. He's really into that build right now. I would actually really like to see him do oh, it. Oh, he canceled Ooh. the gas. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Whoa. MC never even saw that gas, so Huck actually just changed his mind is what happened. Either that or he thought he saw it, but I don't... That might not his be probe the probe was too far away. I don't think it... I don't think he thought that. Oh, MC, four gating. It's a good thing still to mix in. Still good build. Huck, Huck. He's got three gates, now four. four. Gates. It's going to be four gate against four gate. Huck's gates are a little bit slower, so he's going to have to be the defensive one, most likely. And it looks like Huck. Damn, uh, this is some really intense micro here. Yeah, oh, oh really Stalker ping-ponging, though. Uh, oh, no. And another Stalker does come out. Good thing it did as well. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that was very good. Was very that was good. so good. I'm happy uh -oh. with that result. But there's Huck. a sneaky probe coming in here. Yeah, Huck's been very good about these probes, and in fact, well, it looks like he's going to push these stalkers back a little bit, but has to run. Wow, he does not see the pylon. Well placed by Huck, very well planned out. In fact, Huck is even making a pylon in the main base of MC. I love this, Tasteless. Tasteless, I'm having a good time. Huck is actually looking like he may be able to trick oh, MC out a little bit. He actually oh doesn't my see that. God, oh, my this God. Is, this is bad for MC, man. It is bad. Look at that. And he rises. Uh-ohs. SpaghettiOs. No, dude. He were just... Oh, oh wait. It's, I, there might be an Artosis pylon here. That actually yeah. is powering everything. Oh, my God. If he can get that. What are you doing? And, no, don't don't you dare turn don't around. Don't you do that, Huck. At this point, Huck, it is all or nothing. You can't turn around. Your opponent will do too much damage. Well, he is turning around, but I feel like if he by turning around here, he just says to MC, hey, I almost gained an advantage here. But I think actually MC might have this now. No, there's one yeah. Zelda actually on the high ground that wasn't being utilized. Mm -hmm. And uh, Huck is actually already down 15 supply. Huck actually like has less stuff everywhere. And 
And, uh, I mean, there's just no way for Huff to actually win this battle. It doesn't matter how good your micro is. Well, it's a math problem here that no matter how you put the numbers together, I mean, basically Huck comes out behind, and now he's going to lose just a few probes, and that's enough to really start to tilt this game in MC's favor. Yeah, yeah. Huck warping in some more Zealots. Of course, MC will micro like a madman against those. Even has a pylon in Huck's main base now. You know, it's difficult. Huck, Huck GG. went for the... Oh, GG. And unfortunately, Huck's run is over. MC will advance. Thank you, round of eight, man. Could we have our first three-time GSL champion? It this could season. happen. I mean, I don't know if Hung can beat him. So, so Nesty I mean, and MC are both left. I think it is going to happen, actually. Um, All right, he's coming out of the booth. What's going on? Oh, hugs. <laughs> he fought those at NASL. Yeah, I was actually, I you saw the stickers those. off for him. Yeah, I remember he came out and he was wearing those. He had the stickers on him. I said, buddy, give me the glasses. <laughs> All right, so uh, I feel like Huck in that game made a crucial blunder. He went for the offense. He proxied some pylons. He worked in some units. He got into his opponent's base before his opponent got into his base. And then he saw his opponent coming for him and worked in units at home. You can't do that. You have to actually go with it. Now, here's a weird thought. You can't ever engage ah. more Protoss units with less Protoss units. Oh, my God. That's so good. Uh, now, let's let, let's go back to that uh, that game for a second. There was a weird moment. Huck had three Stalkers in MC's base. He was going for the pylon, which I think empowered about two. Three gates. Two or three. But there was one that was – one, one, one at the bottom pylon. was question, questionable. Um, should he have just stayed there and tried to kill that? He absolutely should not have. The thing is, he warped in some units at home because there were units going to his base, which, I mean, you have to do one or the other. You can't have some units at his base and some at yours. That's a loss. Every single time, 100 times out of 100 times, that's a loss. You have to, if you're already down there in his base before he's in yours, you have a chance, man. Just go for it. But he, he kind of panicked. Try to do too he many choked. things at once, and you can't do that in PvP. Such it's a micro war. Protoss versus Protoss. Yeah. Well, you know, we're halfway through today's games. I need to get them to fix my hair. I got, you know when the orcas are in captivity? My, my, <laughs> my, 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 my fin. Oh. It's starting to go like that. It's starting to go over there. I'm probably, I'm unhappy. they got to let me back in the water. I'm an orca. Tasteless, I'm an orca man. nerd. Free tasteless. Free the tasteless. I'm like standing there going like this. You land on me and I kill me. I come out there and <laughs> jump over you. <laughs> like that. That was good. That's orca. Yeah. For Willie. Yeah. Which is also orca for Artosis. All right. MC Willy goes out now. We, we're we're going to have a five-minute break, so don't go too far away. Uh, we're mixing up from our normal two-minute breaks. Yeah. We want to have you guys Bath have enough time. time to get some peanut butter toast, cup of tea. Enough time to microwave the Pop-Tarts and then bring them there. All right, so uh, don't go too far away. We'll be back here after this break at the GSL with more excellent Code S games. I'll see you soon.